So story time's aimed at two to five year olds and their parents and carers. Story time's based around developing a love for books in children. I saw at the zoo a... It's also about uh, developing pre-literacy skills such as communication, language. It's important that children have knowledge of what a book is, um, they're familiar with books, they've developed a love for books. You don't wait till school, the research is there that if you engage children in stories and, and introduce books into their life, um, right from the word go, they're far more likely to be able to achieve as, as learners, as readers, as communicators. Maybe parents understand now that it's important to read a book to their children, but maybe they get frustrated because the kids don't get engaged in it, but maybe they can make that book more fun. Baby. Oh, the baby. Mwah. If you'd like some ideas on how to read to your child, come into Storytime, get some ideas, take a book home, introduce some props, have a bit of fun with stories. You know, experience the joy that stories have to offer. And they sent me a... Miss Kirsty always shows us new ways to read the stories, make them more fun rather than just reading them over and over again the same way. So it just makes it different, just different ideas to do different things. And, and quite often with the props for the songs and things, that's what the kids really love as well. Yeah. Wombat! Another skill with reading books and stories is it's about the conversation that happens around the story. So a five minute book might ten, turn into a ten minute story time session with your child. Books aren't just about listening to or reading from beginning to end, front to back, word for word. They're sharing, you can ask questions, you can make comments. When you're reading a story, using your voice, facial expressions and actions to make the book fun and interactive. Your child might have a special interest that may appear in the book. A discussion might arise out of that. It's just a conversation between you and your child. It's more than just words and pictures, it's about um, setting a scene of interaction between the parents and the children. Because they learn through discovery and they learn through play. It teaches them the basics of you know, letters and numbers and colours that they probably do need to know before they go to school. It extends the imagination and extends curiosity. I love story time because I think it's a really great time for parents and kids to come to the library and have a lot of fun especially if they're new to town. Libraries are just well placed for that sort of interaction. Watching other people interact can often give you ideas and even if it's just one light bulb idea. So we're hopefully setting children up to see the library as a fun, exciting place to be. And there's no longer the shh in the library anymore, as you've probably noticed. Open, shut them. Children need to hear a lot of language and stories to develop their language. And there's lots of interactive opportunities at story time. There's singing and there's storytelling and there's story reading. And there's other people they can listen to and there's people that they can interact with. So just go, it's just wonderful.